In hospital emergency departments, blood culture contamination rates are generally around 3 to 6 percent. Less than 3 percent is a standard that uh, many hospitals try to achieve. Hospitals will try to get as low as possible. So there was a recent clinical trial using Steripath in which uh, trained phlebotomists, uh, people that are highly skilled at doing blood cultures, would either uh, collect a traditional blood culture or use the Steripath device. In this clinical trial, it demonstrated the use of the Steripath was superior to these experts uh, doing the blood culture and without the device. Based on the clinical trial with Steripath, where they had a 0.22% blood culture contamination rate, this would make an argument that less than 1% is achievable. So what happens if a blood culture is contaminated? You will increase your microbiology costs, you'll increase your pharmacy costs, and then you'll stay in the hospital a few extra days, and then there's unintended consequences of that, including, let's say, infections. That will extend the time that patients get IV antibiotics, usually vancomycin, uh, up to several days. So what are the total costs associated with that blood culture contamination event? Anywhere from $4,500 to $5,000 would be a very reasonable estimate. So if you look around where in hospitals or health systems you have a, uh, the highest rate of contamination, it's usually in the emergency department. What we wanted to see was, would routine use of the Steripath device in the ED population prove to be cost effective uh, in overall use? So this was a cost-benefit analysis, and we compared two different ways of getting a blood culture. One would be the traditional method, in which you would expose the, the arm, if you're getting the blood culture from the arm, you'd disinfect it with the normal disinfectant, insert the needle, and then get your blood culture model. Well, all those procedures are the same, with the exception the, the, the STERI path is a blood diversion device. Your skin is contaminated with, with, with germs, with bacteria, and that when you insert a needle for the blood culture collection, the first 1.5 mils or so of that blood may have that skin contaminant. What the Steripath device does is divert that first 1.5 to 2 mils of blood so it doesn't enter the blood culture bottle. The most important findings from this study, published in the Journal of Clinical Microbiology, was that routine implementation of this Steripath device in, a, in an ED would be cost beneficial. This would support that if you use it, you not only get the clinical benefits, but you also will have the economic benefits of reduced microbiology, pharmacy, and indirect costs. If you assume that your hospital is using rapid diagnostics and you have a 3% contamination rate, your direct savings from pharmacy and microbiology uh, will be about $15. And then if you add on the indirect costs, including the increased length of stay, that adds another $115 onto your cost savings. Uh, and if you put those two together, maybe $130. And as your contamination rate goes up, the cost savings associated with routine use of the stereopath obviously go up. I think the Steripath device could benefit uh, many different stakeholders. Uh, for patients, obviously the, the, the excess costs and morbidity associated with the blood culture contamination event is important. For the C-suite, blood culture contamination events are an uh, important clinical perspective, from a patient perspective, and also from an economic perspective. And last but not least, a decreased contamination rate could lead to lower rates of antibiotic use, and then lower rates of antibiotic resistance, this is an important attribute as well.